A state funeral fit for an icon of Melbourne as the bells of St Patrick's rung out across the city. Like always, and just like outside his cafe Pellegrini's, they queued early to see the man who symbolised modern Melbourne. The cafe owner they all knew as Sisto, but this time they came to view his coffin and to remember a fantastic life inside the cathedral every seat was taken. The 74-year-old is much a part of Melbourne as his famous long black coffees he served since 1974 at Pellegrini's on Burke Street, today remembered by the Archbishop of Melbourne. In both his private family life and in his public working life, Sisto showed so many what it means to live for the good of others and with a generosity of heart. Sisto grew up in a small town in Italy, the youngest of six children. His son David delivered an emotional eulogy. We would often question him as to why he would leave to go to work so early, knowing that he would return home some 14 or 15 hours later. His simple reply to us was always the same, my customers. Dad loved Melbourne with a passion and was so proud to live in this unique and wonderful city. Even the Victorian governor had been a loyal customer of Pellegrini's ever since her childhood in Melbourne in the 50s. Stopping for some cake, a pasta or a bowl of gelati, preferably all three, while my parents enjoyed a real coffee from one of the first espresso machines in our city was a favourite treat of my childhood. From the emergency services to Melbourne's business elite, everyone has a story about Sisto. And for those of us who frequented Pellegrini's like myself and so many here, there's been a moment when we wished we were Sisto. Thank you, Sisto. You loved us and we loved you. The state funeral was held for Sisto Malaspina not just because of how he died, but because of who he was. He loved Melbourne and Melburnians loved him. Today they came together to remember the man who was the heart and soul of Burke Street. Political opponents just days from a state election laid down their campaign tools to attend the service. I think he might like it and uh, I think he might be here today saying bring out the coffee, <laughs> spread the pasta for everyone. That was the sort of guy that he was. A flamboyant icon of Melbourne remembered with the honour of a state funeral. Aaron Young, Sky News.